and they say that the fire will not touch us except for a few days. A common belief among many people who call themselves Muslims is that simply on account of them calling themselves Muslims and not committing shirk, not associating partners with God, that they are going to end up in heaven no matter what kind of a life they live. They say that God will throw them into hell initially for their sins, but after a period of time they will be removed and they will end up in heaven. To support this claim, they have a narration attributed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and they say this is the truth. I just want to say what the Quran says about it because this mistake has been made by those before us as well. And Prophet Muhammad corrected their mistakes by saying specific things to them, so everybody should know this. In the second chapter of the Quran, Surah Baqarah, starting with verse 79 to verse 82, we are given an account of this. God says, Woe then to those who write the book with their hands and say, This is from God, so that they make it, may take it for a small price. Therefore, woe to them for what their hands have written, and woe to them for what they earn. So God says, Woe to people who wrote a book with their own hands, who said things about God that aren't necessarily true. And then God tells us in the next verse what they actually said. And they say, the fire will not touch us, but for a few days. And then Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is instructed to answer them. Kul. So this is a command from God. Say, have you received a promise from God? And God will not fail to perform his promise. Or do you speak against God what you do not know? Whoever earns evil and his sins beset him on every side, these are the inmates of the fire. In it they will stay. And whoever uh, and those who believe and do good deeds, these are the inmates of the garden, and in it they will stay. So when these people, and this is talking about uh, children of Israel, they made this claim, and Prophet Muhammad was instructed to correct this misconception. And when they said the fire will not touch us for a few days, what did he tell them? Whoever earns evil and his sins beset him from every side, these are the inmates of the fire. End of story. Good people go to heaven and evil people go to hell. And we are defined by our actions. And this is the moral of the story. This same story is repeated in the third chapter of the Quran, verses 23 to 20, uh, 25. But this is what the Quran says. So you can believe whatever you want. But I would say if you're going to err on the side of caution... If you call yourself a Muslim, I would stay within obedience to God and certainly stay away from what God, ha uh, God hates because whoever earns evil and his sins beset him from every side, these are the inmates of the fire and in it they will stay. Peace be with you.